Guys, welcome back to Carnivore 401. My name is Matthew. If you would, please take a moment, squash the like button. <laughs> if you would, subscribe. If you're coming back, it's really good to have you here. If you're here for the first time, thank you for showing up. So, I've been on this carnivore diet for, I think, 28 days? I believe so. 27 or 28 days. Uh, I, yeah, I haven't looked at the app. It, it's something like that. But I just want to come online to kind of let you know about a couple of things that are really that are really kind of sticking out, okay? Um, things that I might not have mentioned in other videos. This is kind of like, I don't know. I was just talking to a really close friend of mine. He's also a carnivore. I'm going to, I plan on having him here next week. We're going to do some live talk. Um, when I say live talk, it's probably going to be recorded, the first one. I've talked to him about maybe having a weekly, just, you know, for sure. But we'll, we'll, we'll still talk about that. Um, but a couple of things I just want to mention to you, you know, that I had mentioned to him that I definitely want to share with you because they, they've all caught me by surprise. Uh, and I did make a couple of notes here to tell you. Also, what? You know this. Okay, so I threw in chicken with some sour cream into one of my Instapods. I also threw, I it was just three pork loin pork chops. Uh, delicious, and yes, I had one earlier today. So, here's the plate. Yeah, so this is my sour cream, my chicken with the sour cream that I put in there. Just really, really heated it up. I pulled it off of the breasts, and there's one of the pork chops. All cut up. It is delicious. And I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm going to have some snack. So, let me tell you a couple things that have really stuck out for me. They might seem silly to you. So my retention. So this past week, I um, I went to a club that, well, okay. So I went to the VFW, right? Uh, very, very cool place. Uh, it's very, very nice. And uh, we joined. The odd thing is, though, is that I can remember the name of the person that signed me up. And I can remember the name of somebody that I met. Usually I'm horrible with names, but these stick out to me. Um, but do they stick out to me because of the name? The answer is no. They stick out to me because I'm changing in some way. I've always been horrible with names. I can't remember a name. Like, mind you, I'm not going to give those names out right now because maybe somebody from the VFW will be <laughs> watching and they're going to see my video. So, you know, I don't want to get it that close. But, you know, like, let's say at Walmart, I met one woman one time. Um, Cheyenne, I mean, she let me in the dressing room, okay? Um, Diane, I mean, this has been over the time that I've been going through this carnivore thing, and my memory has increased, my retention span has, not with me not even trying, or like, let's say, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's improved greatly. Um, yeah, uh, my control of conversation at work, that's just gone on whole different levels. My calmness, my peace of mind. My confidence in self, that's changed as well. I'm, I'm not even sure how that's happening. I'm not sure how any of this is actually happening or why it's happening. Except I know that I have protein, I'm getting the sleep, I'm getting the exercise, I'm being consistent. Which is what we all should be doing. And whatever we're doing that finds that, you know, that works. Unless you don't have a concern about your health. And then at that point, you're just going to throw it off to a doctor. But <laughs> but if you're watching this video, I got this funny feeling you have a little bit of something inside your head that says, you know what? Just maybe, just maybe, something, I might not know something. And you know what I'm finding is that, you know, I, I don't know if you've been watching how many videos you've watched, but I jumped in with both feet and I didn't understand anything. And it still goes against... Everything that I've been brainwashed with since, since I was a little child, you know, or as an adult, you know, I, you know, plant-based for 10 years. I mean, I'm just riddled with, you know, the fat you eat is the fat you wear, you know, and then of course, you know, eat lots of good fat, like, like, uh, um, anyway, you, you, if you're plant-based, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so also, I sleep deeper. I sleep deeper and I respect the amount of sleep that I get more. And I think it's because in the morning time, if I haven't gotten those full eight hours, I, my body knows that. My mind knows that and I know that I'm not ready to get up. 
it's going to be different for everybody. Seven to nine hours, whatever it is. It might be six hours for you. It might be longer. I don't know. My energy levels. I went out today. We went to a, uh, we took the dogs and we went to, it was a waterfall. Really, really cool place. And I've got, let's see. If you take a look at my watch, it was, let's see, 99, hmm. 99 zone minutes. I know that's upside down for you. Now, uh, let's see. 39. <laughs> what? You can't see it. I gotta take it off, I guess. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, this is a Fitbit. I absolutely love my Fitbit. Okay. So, 39 flights of steps. You can see that. Um, okay. I've only did 13,644 steps. And 99 zone minutes. But I will tell you this. Walking up and down those hills, not a problem. My heart rate got up. I saw my heart rate get up to about 106 when I was walking up a steep hill. Mm. As long as I breathed correctly and when I got to the very top, I felt great. No lack of energy there. So, you know, you know those small little things go a long way because before then, oh man, I, I would be... I would be crashing, crashing hard. So, yeah. And I shouldn't just throw my cards just randomly. I don't know what I'm doing that for. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so just basically full energy. I feel satiated. Eating this way, eating plant-based, I never felt satiated. Uh, I could eat all the avocados in the world. That's what I was talking about earlier. Well, you know, I for some reason escaped me, but you know, you know, avocados, good fat, um, gets rid of bad fat, you know, but, and that is true to an extent, but when you're eating animal proteins and you're not eating the processed foods with them, see, that's, that, that's what you've really got to look at because you've got all those processed foods with all those chemicals and then they interact with the animal proteins. I'm finding in this experience or experiment, or this lifestyle, or this diet. You know, this did start off with a 90-day challenge. Actually, did it start off with 90-day? I believe it did. Well, I think it started with 30-day first, <laughs> and then I went to 90-day, and I was like, screw that, man. I'm doing like three years of this. I feel so good. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I feel my, my you know, it's just, let's see. Um, one other thing, yeah, so like when I wake up in the morning, you know, I don't know about you, but you know, when I was like a little kid, you know, you wake up, actually, I kind of feel like a little kid. Um, not, you know, just not only in the memory, because it's like, I think back and I go, oh, yeah, I met this person. Her name is someone. And I'm like, what? I remember their name. And it just comes to me. I'm just like, what's going on? But uh, yeah. And um, yeah. So in the morning time, what I was going to also mention is that when I wake up, uh, when I crack my knuckles, I just cracked them a little earlier. But when I crack my knuckles, they they all crack. What's going on with that? They, they never used to all crack. No, no, no. There's something going on with the joints that I just don't understand. There's something in the joints, something in the joints that's good. There's like a deep healing going on. Um, it's going on in many, many different facets of my body. Um, it's giving me energy. Oh my goodness, you know. 10 kilometers on the bike turns to 20 kilometers. Um, 50 push-ups turns to 75 in a row, okay? You know, like, all in a row. And that's a lot. You know, I think that's a lot. Now, you know, you see a lot of people that are on this diet where they're doing it for other reasons. They're doing it because of great need. They're doing it because they want to get off five different medications, right? They're doing it because of big threats to their health. Why am I doing it? I'm doing it because it made sense and because it was time for me to unlearn and relearn. And I'm learning a lot. And what I'm learning is that I feel like I've been lied to for a long, long time about meat, about protein, about its importance in our lives, about its importance to my health. Um, yeah. So... I feel like in a way, in a big way, I was 
dumb down. And I think processed food dumbs us down big time. I think it takes us to a much, much lower level of health. Do I think, you know, you know, plant-based is healthy? The answer is yeah, plant-based is healthy. Do I think it's the optimal diet? The answer is no, not at all. And do I think going to an all meat diet, carnivore diet could possibly be it? And the answer, yes. And I'm shocked, shocked to tell you that. I didn't expect it. So just to let you know, this chicken, oh my gosh. Mm, this is the first time I've had it with, well, tonight, okay? Oh man, something about sour cream. It's just crazy. Sorry for rambling like that, but you guys got to figure out. I mean, I want you to figure out. If you want to lower your blood pressure, if you got type 2 diabetes, if you got so many different illnesses, and you're like, the doctor's all they want to do. In my humble opinion, for most people, they're just trying to help them by putting them on medications. But the question is, can the body heal itself on a highly satiated, highly satiating diet? The evidence points to yes. Dr. Ken Berry, being an awesome doctor, there's a lot of others too, and I really need to start putting links to them. Very wonderful guys. And I come to you in this relaxed form, this medium. I, I, I could... I mean, I am upgrading my computer and I, I'll be able to do lots of different things like flashing in, flashing out. It's my message. It's, it's, I like to keep things simple. I don't, I think people that are looking for a real answer and they're really listening are going to find out why would I be us about this stuff? I wouldn't. My used to have really bad allergies and sinuses. And I used to blame it on dairy because when I went plant-based, my allergies and sinus problems went away within 30 to 60 days for over 10 years. I live in Tennessee. I'm eating meat and I'm eating dairy, sour cream, and lots of other dairy. My allergies have not returned. Hmm. And you might say, why? You might say he might have changed over the years. Hmm. Way has changed can stay consistent. No processed foods, guys. I believe that's it. What it is. I appreciate y'all showing up. If you would, again, <laughs> it helps the algorithm. Please like the video, subscribe. We'd love to have you along my journey. I've got quite a few really cool videos coming up that I think you'll absolutely love. Y'all peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday night. Have a beautiful week. And I'll check you out tomorrow.